All right, welcome on board. So we'll be heading from Mbessa to Tufi, continuing our bush village and PNG resupply run. We'll go ahead and jump in and let's get started. And on the master. And let's enter. Go ahead and get this started. Fuel pump on, ignition on, starter on. Well, 13%, increasing the fuel. We have ignition, ITT rising, NG rising. Make sure it's not a hot start or a hung start. It's still sustaining. Shut off the starter, ignition, and the fuel pump. Turn on both avionics buses. Well, the avionics bus and the auxiliary bus, I should say. And the bypass on and unfold the propeller. Go ahead and get my flight plan loaded up. B. L I P -E N. And set the zoom to where I like it. And that's twenty. Get set. Get myself a. It's gonna do it. Go around at its initial attitude on my flight director there. Uh, terrain is at four and a half thousand feet. I'm going to go up to six thousand feet. Yeah. I think no, I'll go to seven thousand. Be sure I'm flying easterly on this flight. And release brakes. Put in some rudder trim for the takeoff. And take off. I'm pretty much going to line up with the runway and go from there. Which this is pretty much just a field that I'm taking off in, so. Round to the right. I'm having to use my little map to show me where the runway is. It's down there. Hold the brakes. High idle. Pulse lights on. Strobe light on. Bring the power up. Nice energy. I'm going to release the brakes and bring the rest of the power in on the roll. My 9% NG, looking for a 60 knot rotate. You know, it's 60 knots. Gently bring it up. Rudder to compensate for that torque. I don't want to climb quite that steeply. There we go. Right, set the auto part so it holds that. And bring in some rudder trim. There we go. Be checked, I mean, if that's up to 10. I'm going to actually go to 5,000 feet. This is a pretty short flight.
Whereas the amount, the only mountains is this terrain here, which you could easily go around, but I'm just going to go over it because I can, and the higher altitude gives the turboprop slightly better fuel efficiency anyway. Should give us some nice time lapse footage flying along the tops of the clouds and just adjusting the rudder trim as we're now leveling out in cruise. mountain we can go ahead and get started on our descent now this airport is right next to the coast I'm gonna go ahead on the other flights I've been using the autopilot a lot to, to do the flying and the descent make use of the G1000 NXI and to show off its functionality I think this one I'm just gonna go old still and disconnect the well, not old school. Go manual and disconnect the autopilot and fly it myself. Right, disconnect the autopilot, reduce the power a bit. Allow the nose to, lo to be lower. Not quite that far though. Try and set up a stabilized descent here. I can see the airstrip there, I should be able to do a straight in pretty much. I'm going to turn left a little bit, I'm going to fly down this little peninsula here. I'm 10 miles away, I'm going to engage the bypass and turn on the pulse lights. Bring the prop back up to full forward in preparation for landing. The wind turbulence jolting us around a little bit as it comes off the sea and up the mountains or comes over the mountains. Yeah, it's coming off the sea and over these little hills that are underneath us. 
this aircraft slowed down. The little clicking you hear is the electric trim as I trim the aircraft to the slower speed flight. Get this slow down. Come on. So 138 flaps 10. Am I too fast again? Yep, too fast for this. So I'll have to, turn, turn to fly around and I'll go ahead and land the other way. The wind's light enough that I can do that. At least I know where the airstrip is this time. We'll call this an overfly. Check the airstrip out. And then come back in for a landing. Start my base turn, blow on 38 flaps 10, reducing the power. Blow on 20 flaps 20. Don't climb, allow the nose to lower now. Blow 108 flaps full. Get a little bit of power in keep the speed where I want it. Yeah, the airport is right on sea level. And it's on quite a slope, so it's a good thing I did come around this way. That's probably partly why I was so high. Illusion from the slope. And I'm coming at 90 knots, so allow the aircraft to keep slowing down. about 70 over the fence all right bring the nose up power idle let it settle onto the runway reverse thrust ground idle and then i'll kill the reverse thrust because i am going up a hill might bring in a little bit of power to help me get to the top just a little bit there bring the flaps all the way up And turn off the false lights and the strobe lights. And I'm going to pull around here and park beside. I'll park. A little bit difficult, there's no real parking spot available. I'll park beside this other Kodiak here. That'll do. Turn on auxiliary bus and avionics bus, uh, generator and alternator. Go ahead and feather the prop. Back to normal. And shut off the fuel. I 200, turn off the master. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that flight. Uh, leg three of my four stage village supply run in PNG. Last one will be returning back to Port Moresby. Forward to seeing you there.